welcome guys to another commentary video this time we will cover a match between Nightmare of I don't know how to pronounce that I'm sorry I'm gonna call you Nightmare and Raizo, Raizosphere, Raizomatic uh, he has been on the channel commenting some of his matches in others uh, he's a very strong fog player he's a uh, I just checked now because we were talking in the general chat and he's 17 uh, rank of all time, not currently in in FOG. Uh, currently I think he's top 10, if I don't remember correctly. I will uh, share the screenshot and Nightmare, if I remember correctly, he's top 2 of on FOG, uh, maybe top 3, but he's one of the best uh, current FOG players active in Global League. This is gonna be a very interesting match because something very crazy for some of you will happen. Uh, I have not seen this uh, happening, what is gonna happen many times in my matches, and uh, not to this extent. Like Nightmare uh, is gonna exploit one situation uh, very much, excuse me, and also I didn't mention, but he's playing yes, uh, on a map Stalingrad, which is a classic for Fog, uh, which favors her pretty much, but yes, is not a common uh, pick for players, normally players in Fog, in tier 4, we would opt uh, to pick Jake most of the time, sometimes you could go with other but other in fog is weaker because uh, you you lack the sometimes the intel to make uh, your extra movement uh, threat uh, be um, relevant also um, for the same reason call is not as good but the thing that call has going for him or other in fog is the roads because killing things is very important, much more in a standard than in fog. Because a 1 HP unit in a standard, yes, it's gonna block, it's gonna be annoying, maybe you repair it. But in fog, it's gonna give you vision. And sometimes having vision or not having vision is a game changing situation. Because imagine you recon gets down to 1 HP by a tank, and then you have a tank in range, you can uh, then attack that tank that attacked your recon, but if the recon dies, you won't have vision mm, normally to, to attack that tank back. Uh, that's what I'm more or less uh, meaning with uh, killing units in FOC, very important. Also, uh, don't let me forget, but um, I, I was gonna say something, well, it, it doesn't matter guys. Uh, if, you, if you have played Global League, you have played on this map for sure. It's uh, one of the most uh, iconic mm, maps in, in in Fog, as long as Verdum and some of them. I have played quite a lot on this map. Uh, there are a lot of commentaries on this map. Uh, there is an, an EPC opening. There is uh, there there are. It has been theory crafter uh, until that, but let's see uh, what uh, boss players do. Right now, use normal infantry, no recon day three. Okay, and Raizo opts uh, for recon um, day four. And the reason why here and not here or here, uh, the answer uh, for not here is easy because he needs an infantry to go here as soon as possible uh, not here uh, it's probably mm, because you you want this recon to send into the enemy com tower uh, instead of this area because on this map your strong site is along this area and the enemy strong site is along this area so uh, normally what you what you want to do uh, is uh, gather your units uh, around this area and then when you have gathered enough forces you can front switch and change that this dynamic but for the most part you want to to be aggressive on this part maybe don't allow some gaps from happening uh, the comm tower or these cities here um, here the, the frontier cities on on your strong side 
and that's uh, very important to do but Nightmare instead of going recon early he opts to go tank yes tanks are very good to deal with recons because they uh, if the recon is on roads even if it's a fresh recon uh, yes is gonna be able to one shot it uh, most of the time it's not warranted because uh, tanks deal 85 damage against recons if you add 10% to that that's uh, uh, 93 to 102 uh, that's maybe a 4 uh, out of 10 chance of dealing um, how you call it uh, no it's a 3 out of uh, 10 chance of one shot in the recon on no defense but if that recon gets any cheap damage that chance is gonna dramatically increase and as we can see uh, Raizo opted to go with a tank uh, in the middle base and this tank is not uh, what you call uh, doubling as this is good say but I like this tank because uh, it's it's not wasting any movement as you can see if you put the tank in this uh, tile instead of the uh, this one uh, you will have uh, more options to go here or here but at the end of the day, uh, you are going both sizes right now. You are not, you could go any uh, of them without wasting time. Like this is a, in my opinion, perfect movement because uh, th this tank uh, still can decide where to go. And the recon will provide vision next turn uh, of this tank probably, maybe if it's not on a forest. So that's, that's something to, to keep in mind. Raizo won't be able to interrupt the cap. I believe uh, he opened uh, a recon one day later than he could have done, but he's not going uh, for the interrupt because, as you can see, uh, Nightmare uh, has overlapped uh, his tank movement with the comm tower capture. So uh, the only way you can uh, delay this is to put a recon the turn before uh, this capture happens uh, so your recon will get shoot but it won't get killed if you try to interrupt this with your recon uh, because it's yes you are gonna get one shot if it's if you are facing Jake uh, probably you will get one shot too but it's a bit trickier because I mean if you attack from this road here you have planes adjacent if you attack from here you will have planes adjacent to but if you attack from the comm tower you won't have that boost and maybe you want to do that but that would mean that you further interrupt the cap uh, but anyways um, now Rizzo is sending the recon to his weak side but recons on this such big map you you need them you if you are not at least with two recons all the time in Stalingrad you are completely blind you need recons on this map and as you can see, this is a super open map. The only uh, four mountains that there is here are next to your bases. Um, and they are probably there to, to get vision. One, two, three, four, five of the comp tower here in the weak side. And on this area, yeah, I mean, I don't think this mountain is gonna be relevant for most matches. It's gonna give you vision of your HQ surroundings if you are starting to get captured here. But remember, the HQ is on the on the beginning of your strong side, so uh, pushing into this area is gonna be quite complicated to do at least for the beginning of the match. And right now, all players has opted to go uh, double recon. No, no, it's this is the first recon for sorry from nightmare but uh, all tanks no anti-air no copters but as you can see not having anti-airs uh, is not that big of uh, a deal since yes uh, imagine I, 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 I won't bother to count the, the timing of the copter but a copter attacking into this area for example it could take quite amount of turns and 
it won't get a very valuable uh, engagement, neither it's very safe to do, because it's very likely that your opponent has an anti-air in one turn of this area, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is three turns away from this base, but from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, this is three turns from these two bases. But uh, still, um, that's something not very, very safe to do. But now we see copters happening because uh, when, uh, whenever this copter gets into the front line, which is going to be in three turns, more or less, uh, there will be tanks and greasy targets for the copter be worth attacking to. Because I don't like to, at least in my opinion, harass infantry with your copters. It's like, what are you gaining uh, with what amount of risk? And here I'm puzzled by the only three movement of this tank. Probably this tank here is gonna try to cover this tank. I, I'm, I want to see what is this tank gonna do next turn. Okay, so instead of this tank could have moved into into here, and yeah, it's quite safe. But I, I, I'm not gonna how you call it uh, question what what is he doing. But this is uh, I mean you don't have reason to to go farther because the. This tank is in the safest spot possible while also warding this infantry here. And if you say, yeah, but you will need vision in order to get there safely if this infantry gets interrupted, there's a recon. So right now, uh, what I think Nightmare is thinking with this tank movement is uh, it's warding this infantry while also being as safe as possible. <clears throat> Still only going tanks and recons, uh, as I said, you need double recon on this map, it's uh, only day 9, so it's not uh, super late to get your recon, a bit late, but uh, I think it's completely fine. Right now, this recon right here is very juicy to have, the problem is uh, Nightmare doesn't know. But uh, Raizo doesn't know that Nightmare doesn't know. He probably can guess, but uh, still, um, if this recon gets a spot, um, it's gonna be in danger. It's not gonna get two hit KO but e by an infantry and a, and a tank, but I think it can get two hit KO by a recon and a tank on a forest. I will leave the calculations uh, like always, but I'm pretty sure, uh, yes, uh, with a com tower and recon and tank can, can do this role because recons uh, doesn't deal too much damage, but you only need a little push with with a tank to to kill a recon. So right now, as you can see, Nightmare is going super hard on this area. He doesn't uh, have vision of this recon yet, but uh, still, as you can see, he was very careful and only uh, gave away intel about this tank in the forest. So that's that's valuable for for Raizo, but it's not it's not that much of intel. Like the only intel that he has uh, given of um, vehicles is this tank going here. Well, uh, you can the recon, yes, but the recons are not. I, I wouldn't consider a recons as a vehicle in the sense of um, of firepower because recons don't are not taken into account for the firepower. They are just there for the intel and maybe harass some infantry. But uh, when you are fighting vehicles versus vehicles, you won't keep them in mind unless there is an internet and. But even then, recons don't deal as much damage as other vehicles to indirects. 
That's the most Nietzsche use you could give to Recons. They are uh, very bad walls against, uh, how you call it, uh, tanks also. And, okay. The reason he opted to attack from here instead of here, it's because at the end of the day, you will think this is safer. But I think uh, this is as safe as this one, but the, um, because of the uh, number of tiles that it takes for the enemy bases to get here, but this is probably gonna give you more intel. Because without uh, the vision of this tile, you won't know about this uh, city. So this is giving a slightly more intel for the same risk as this one. And after saying all that, I I didn't expect him to, to hit KO that. I... oh my god. <laughs> I just completely forgot about the infantry. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, spot the recon. I wanna, I wanna see what uh, Nightmare does here. He has weak, a weaker infantry, remember guys? This infantry is 100 firepower against uh, Jake with a comm tower. <clears throat> that was uh, a, a roll, uh, if I remember correctly. And look, this is this is why yes, it's not very good. But this is the all the one of the, her few weakness. And on this map, is not that important. Okay, classic wheel copter double infantry tank. So. If we count uh, vehicles, uh, Raizo has already four vehicles uh, on place, but um, Nightmare has only rebuilt uh, two of them, and plus this one that uh, Raizo knows. So he knows that he's facing at least three tanks. So I, you have to be very careful with that because. If you attack into the, you you can you don't want to attack into this, not at all. But what you can do is exploit uh, uh, your stronger infantry uh, for easy to hit KOs as Jake. This is a a safe hit, I would say. Not not a safe hit. See, this is barely on the on the edge. You you can see that if it goes one tile closer. Uh, this could be uh, on on Nightmare's uh, CO power movement. As you can see, only one. Mo it, now it needs two movement, but uh, if it moves one more with the CO power, the Nightmare can perfectly get with the tank's engagement. This copter could be dead. But now this copter is on the edge. So very interesting. <clears throat> or oh, very nice recon surviving with one HP. You love to see that. And now this recon is not gonna die for the entire game. Okay, double tank and anti air. You really need your anti air. And if Jess wants to bring copters here, where I mean Jess needs to use uh, copters as well. Don't 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 worry about the minus firepower. Yes, copters are completely fine. They are uh, they are completely fine. They, they will do their job. Like um, they will be able to do hit KO stuff with the help of a second tank coming. So it's it's completely fine. They will won't get the the movement boost, but that's it, guys. So I think uh, right now I I really like. Uh, this this copter these tanks are a bit more exposed but at the end of the day you have uh, some other tanks to to cover this tank here and this tank is on forest so you will need uh, one unit to rebel and then you will get one hit so the problem is that if you are smart enough you can get that vision while also attacking that's what I meant in some videos with tempo. 
See, this tank is doing two things at a time with only one action. So that's very, very important because now a Neymar has the option to attack this tank. I don't know if he's gonna do. He prefers to, to injure the tanks. Because unless you're facing Andy, what you want to do most of the time is doing as much damage as possible. And if you attack this one, not only you will be adjacent to a city and you will be attacked from there or or well you, you also can be attacked from this plane but this is a uh, you you are letting yourself uh being attacked for from high ground and even as jake attacking from a city that is yours is very very much a, a, a good idea so yeah okay <clears throat> You, you have to do as much damage as possible um, oppos in opposition as just simply um, killing units because that's the day-to-day uh, -day ability hidden that Andy has is kill my units or else so that's uh, that's why I like to play uh, as Andy a lot because if my opponent commits the mistake of not killing my units I, uh, I will have um, the the value of using my superpower but if my opponent goes for the kill he's already doing a suboptimal engagement so that's i like that a lot okay to hit ko that uh, does raizu knows about this anti-air no he does not but now there is two tanks to deal uh uh for the um, Mr. Antier. So, yeah, that, that's a lot of kills. Like, even if this um, copter dies, there, there are only two tanks. Well, one, two, three. And this is not even in range uh, for for attacking. But uh, Raizo has to be very careful. Because th there might be coming a superpower. I don't think a super on this position could do a lot of damage. So holding it, it's a wise choice. Killing the copter. Hmm. So now, now keep in mind that yes, effectively we'll have plus two movement on all her vehicles. So this tank right here is half covering this tank right here it won't cover uh these two tiles but it will cover uh if uh, something attacks from here and here for example okay so even though this engagement uh, look uh slightly favorite for riso as you can see in the map control um Neymar is able to to be ahead on income just for one but ahead on income and he's uh, pressuring this city which uh, will force uh, Raizo to do something about it and luckily for for Neymar it will force a vehicle uh, from Raizo to be used unless he wants to give away that I mean no, not even this vehicle because if you have this vehicle uh, use one tile closer to here with the Jake Super you can interrupt and then next turn uh, you can uh, finish the cap uh, the denial with infantry although doing this with this tank might be uh, dangerous because you will expose your tank but let, let's see okay to hit KO that to hit KO that that was uh, most likely a roll um, by Raizo and I guess he uh, yeah as, as you can see right now um, in order to, to kill this tank right here, uh, a tank uh, from a forest and a 2HP tank from a road won't be enough to kill it. Um, because this is only 20% firepower. 
but uh, if you add this infantry damage uh, it will be probably enough maybe it was a roll I can leave the calculations around here but it's probably very likely if Raizo try to go for it because the, this tank kill uh, was kind of important because it allows uh, this tank to hide in the forest it, it denies a lot of vision around this area so I'm not gonna say it was crucial but it was useful one shot in the, the infantry capping this is something that only Jake uh, can do All right, uh, from planes that's yes uh, one hit KO infantry on super with anti-air while capping I will leave the... I think so I'm not sure I th oh oh look at this brave recon I, 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 I love it. I love it. Okay, loads or oh loads uh, of copters. You you need to 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 make use of your airport, guys. Um, making use of your airport will make you basically uh, have more units to play with. So that's very important. Okay, killing the recon to, in order to get vision. Killing the other recon with the infantry. To hit KO the other infantry. Yeah, and as you can see right now, uh, Raizu cannot attack into this. Cannot. Uh, he 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 cannot attack into this area, and Nightmare knows that, and he just holds the power. He doesn't want to use it because it's not gonna make a difference. But um, if he uses he will lose the threat and right now Raizo uh, cannot push into this but cannot retreat and be too passive neither so it's a dilemma he was able to to get some income but uh, right now um, he is the one uh, against the ropes let's say because he is the one that uh, cannot um, or stand he won't have as much uh, power compared to Nightmare right now. So he basically completely retreats from this area. While holding on this area. I think um, Raizo uh, could love uh, the help of a recon around this area. Um, or here on one of these forests. In order to get some vision of uh, Nightmare position, but um, he opts uh, for the artillery play and a T copter. A uh, late game, well, we can call this late game, mid game, uh, turn uh, 15. Uh, copter is uh, completely fine in my opinion because on an opening. Um, how you call it? <clears throat> a helicopter can be very useful economically. Uh, might allow you to get some properties that you wouldn't have in other case. But um, in late game, uh, a helicopter is gonna allow you to boost those infantry that you are lacking now because of the fight to to wall um, your vehicles and also do infantry things, which is basically capture. And right now, as you can see, um, Raizu is very limited on the amount of infantry, which force him to to not... I mean, yes, is very good at wall-breaking infantry with the superpower, but still, um, a, an anti-air probably will kill an infantry on a, on a city. Well, uh, we saw the role, so you know, guys, if it can. But um, how you call it? A tank, uh, I don't think it can one hit KO an infantry on a property. I don't think it can uh, on a forest neither, on a super, on just yes, super. But maybe uh, on planes it can. 
Also, I don't know if someone is talking to me because I'm streaming this on Discord while recording it. I I didn't have the the heads uh, put on. I will keep them for now. But as you can see, uh, Raizo knows that uh, Nightmare is pushing very hard here, and he he needs to be, to do something uh, somewhere else in the map. So Raizo seems like he's slowly from switching from this area to to this one. Maybe his plan is to to hold here with the help of um, artillery and one of the properties and that's it i don't know what is his plan let's see nimer pushes methodically doesn't he doesn't care he has his plan he likes vision right now but he has two recons coming as i said you want to have uh, two recons uh, as much as possible on the field and as you can see um, these tanks uh, right here uh, seem quite exposed but if you think about it even this tank right here is covering them after a yes super because come the tiles guys it will reach still here one and two so these tanks are completely covered by all these uh, five vehicles, not this copter, uh, but that's completely fine uh, because uh, Nightmare is not expecting uh, Raizo to attack into this area. But in fact, uh, you don't you don't have to to leave your gun open uh, for your opponent to strike it. You have to, you know, you you cannot be super sharp on fog. That's uh, that's. Uh, a mistake you you might do if you try to do that in fog. Okay, Raizo spotted uh, two tanks of uh, Nightmare, and as you can see right now, if Raizo doesn't come with something else, he only has one tank. And so so he needs to to reinforce this area. And he does, but he also retreats with the lonely tank. Uh, he wants to to be safe. This this infantry are uh, are there for the picking right now. But at the end of the day, uh, it's the same situation as here. Neymar doesn't want to to push too much into this area. I would say on this area, if you cross this line, you will be on danger. Uh, in more and more um, the closer you you get to the enemy bases <clears throat> so right right now nightmare has um, has yet one turn remaining in order to get the vision that he needs but this amount of vision is is good enough for now. He picks the, the infantry and even though this looks quite exposed against this one, as you can see there are not many vehicles in range of the enemy army and at the end of the day uh, Raizo still has not uh, the power because there has not been that much of a fight after uh, his super and uh, yes he's just holding it and, and sunning completely Raizo. Raizo is too afraid of tanking the the yes uh, super and he's playing how you uh, he said uh, he described it as a uh, reactive and losing all the initiative which is quite true because right now he's only uh, trying to like he's they are, they are playing the um, how you how it's called the mouse cat game you know uh, yes is hunting and looking for Jake and Jake is trying to avoid uh, a direct uh, confrontation and trying to do a, um, a strong side uh, against weak side situation. But uh, Nightmare is not doing that and Nightmare is looking for the uh, direct confrontation. 
Okay, uh, Raizo spots uh, the main army from Nightmare, which is gonna allow him to to know where where his army needs to be. But as you can see, this is this is very far apart. And yes, uh, across uh, these last turns, was able to pick up back some properties and now yes is the one that has the advantage on income so <clears throat> this is very interesting because as you can see Rice is just retreating completely like <sighs> nobody business he's uh, so scared from from Neymar okay what to hit KO the um, the recon and get vision with the recon. Okay, now you know that uh, Raizo is grouping around this area and you don't want to attack into this because you you won't deal damage. But it's fine to you. If your opponent over retreats, instead of over overextending the opposite, over retreats, uh, you can just simply uh, pick up uh, whatever whatever is left. So um, yes, can peacefully capture this one. Uh, can peacefully uh, keep gathering forces because the more forces uh, and vehicles you have, the better is gonna be your your power. So it's the same as the same principle as eagle guys because eagles uh, players don't want to fight. They want to gather, gather, gather army until they have a huge critical mass where they can blow your entire army with uh, that charge. The same is for, for yes, uh, but the only difference is that it's not, it doesn't scale as dramatically as Eagle. But yes, it's still very, very, very strong um, on super late game. So, so that's the game that uh, Neymar seems like going for. Right now he has completely control of the middle, because remember, he's playing against someone who won't have power the next turn, for sure. There is no amount of sacking Raizo can do in order, in order to get super power. Maybe uh, he can get uh, CO power in the middle of the turn, but CO power uh, from, from Jake is not very good, it's a power you want to use if your opponent doesn't respect your artillery extra range but that's it and as you can see um Neymar is getting control of the middle while also pressuring his opponent uh, with one capture and prepare, preparing another of them so maybe maybe this capture is not even um how you call it expected to happen uh, probably will happen but I don't think this is uh, like top priority for Neymar, but it forces um, Raizo's units to get out of their uh, hideout, you know guys? And if they don't get out of their hideouts, which is this one or this recon, well this recon doesn't reach this tank, uh, he's gonna get the property. So he needs to sack one infantry for just an interrupt. And it's not like yes, we'll lose this infantry. Because if yes lose this infantry, that means that Raizo attack with two units, and that means the loss of two units for one unit. So that's win-win situation for for Nightmare. And also, if you sack uh, infantry in order to to interrupt this, you will probably then won't have anything to interrupt this one here. So right now, Raizo has to do something. Uh, it's like he. He has to be careful with uh, yes superpower, but he doesn't have to super be afraid of it. He has to. He cannot avoid yes using her power. It's not like yes is a player that is gonna pop her power if it's ready. Neymar is a very good player, and he only will use her uh, her power uh, yes power if that makes a difference. If it doesn't make a difference, he probably won't make it to to use. 
And as you, as you can see, uh, the copters are very are being very useful in order to push infantry into the middle. Okay, and Neymar has some other plans than than killing this infantry, but he he's pressuring. He he's thinking. He's thinking. This is very interesting. Okay, yeah. Look, this helicopter boosting this infantry into this city, so now this is a very solid wall. And, and, and look how Yes is using infantry and copters and recon uh, to, to wall his whole army. Because what is valuable for Yes is not copters, but anti-airs. But the anti-airs of uh, or Raizo are all the way uh, on the back in the safest spot so they won't be able to to wall break this it's impossible right now in the next turn it it will be impossible for for Raizo to attack uh, because he cannot wall break because of the copters copters are amazing walls if there is no anti-air and this anti-air is out of range and look this infantry capping here Raizo interrupts. Uh, he he really needs to to do something about it because oh my god, this is it. It feels like uh, whenever Raizo used uh, his superpower as Jake and he didn't achieve uh, doing any how you call it. Um, significant amount of damage uh, it seems like Neymar uh, knew he had him like this this is feel this feels so oppressing this okay Neymar is now uh, 2k ahead on income which is not gonna be uh, the thing that is gonna make a difference the, the income is just an extra to secure the victory in the very long term but uh, what is gonna make uh, the difference here is the uh, the this army clash pk9 infantry uh, capping another property but this property here is completely covered by this whole army not all of it because some of are too far away but still the main army is, is in range don't forget to extra movement because yes so and look now yes has uh, one neo tank already prepared to use with her superpower and he already, he didn't use uh, Neymar the the super yet so it's amazing i love it now he's he's daring uh drives you to attack into this area he's like yeah yeah come come try to interrupt these caps oh my god and um, Nightmare wills a, a, a fighter because if now I mean of, of, of course I didn't even I, I thought about this recon going here for vision but I didn't comment it um, this recon here spotted the bomber so even if this recon right here dies it's already worth because uh, right now this bomber uh, won't make it uh, won't make any damage uh, because um, Nightmare uh, sees and won't place anything important in its range and for the next turn the fighter is gonna be already prepared to, to attack the bomber. So this bomber has one turn to to attack and be useful but he cannot simply attack because if he does that he will die to anti-air. So yeah it's very tough situation. Okay kills the copter with the anti-air, he had one copter, okay, he'll kill another copter. Killing copter uh, uh, for your anti-air, it's completely fine in my opinion, even if you are facing yes. Right now, um, Raizo probably knows that uh, Neymar is trying to go for this area, or at least um, has a sense of it. I mean. Uh, it really felt like this with the captures and the walling uh, with the captures. So 
So he's going to get something out of this area. And in order to do that, uh, he's using a recon, some infantry and a copter. Which is what you have to do. You have to fight in one side and um, whatever won't make it on, won't make a difference in the part where you are trying to fight, use it somewhere else. But yeah, as you, as you can see, uh, this is very awkward for for Raisu. And we see an overdrive. <laughs> nice. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, I, want, I want to point out that the first thing uh, before using uh, her super uh, was getting vision with, uh, with the recon. And then he thinks, okay, hmm, 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 this neo tank into this neo tank, hmm, it's gonna be worth. Uh, hmm, hmm, you know, he's, he's right now uh, doing calculations of the movement and see if it's gonna be worth it because uh, if you don't have the the intel you cannot tell if it's worth it and even right right now you cannot tell 100 but you know what i mean guys first get the vision then do the important decision making he moves whatever transport nothing important and uses the power and let's see oh my god I, i'm gonna cut that and let, let's see, <laughs> let's see what he does uh, with the overdrive. Um, captures, kills the anti-air. Okay, so, yeah. Anti-air can one-shot infantry on cities on super. As, as you can see, air from yes are completely fine. Yes, they won't do as, as much damage, but they will allow for a two-hit KO with the help of another tank. So they are completely usable because they are gonna allow this tank to be full HP. And this is the same scenario as if you boost your, your copter because your copters won't be able never to one-shot a tank on a city unless you have insane firepower. So yeah, and look, this Neo tank, oh my God doing as much damage as possible. You don't want to kill a staff, you want to do as much damage as possible. I mean, if you kill a staff, that's great, but your priority is doing damage. Let's, let's compare the, the value from Jake. So he was like, he lost 50, Oh my god, I, I think I did something bad again. He lost... Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry guys, uh, I will cut these parts. He lost uh, 50,000. So yeah, that's quite... Uh, that's quite the amount. But why am... I, I think I, I, I lost the... Okay, this is the... Okay, yes, this is the turn of the super. Now it's Rise of Turn, okay. I was completely lost because of skipping so many turns. See, boosted uh, copters are being useful, but at the end of the day, the copters did its job, which was killing the Neo, uh, helping with this two hit KO. And now, because this is uh, this tank didn't need to, to attack with another tank. And this tank won't get killed because of the copter, basically. Oof. The neo tank. I mean, the neo tank um, almost kill another neo tank, so it's completely fine. But now this bomber is completely exposed because it's walled by anti air, uh, by anti air, by copter that is gonna be killed by anti air. Okay. Um, Raisu is able to kill this wall and interrupt this capture. He cannot uh, allow um, Nightmare to to make him go further into income because this is starting to be the point where it's uh, it's relevant. Being two, three 
que uh, behind on Stalingrad is, I mean, it's not useless, but starting to to be more and more behind, it's that, that that's gonna make a, an important difference. And now Neymar has a lot of uh, UEC engagements, and he already can uh, use CO power on even on this turn if he wanted to. I think, yeah, and he does. He, and he, oh my God, he has a Babel, uh, a Neo tank, a tank here, and that's it. But let let's see. I think one, two, three, four, five, six. This. It will allow him to first strike uh, this Neo tank from the city. Yep. Oh my God. Yep. Uh, uses the one HP tank uh, to block and be annoying and also get vision. Very very important. The the safe play would be to bring this back to repair, which is fine in my opinion. But the tempo play uh, in the sense that he, in the short term. It's gonna give more value is it's sucking it for vision and blocking if you were Andy you didn't want to to do this but it's Andy things I'm I am an Andy lover but you know guys it's something that you okay you have you only can keep that in mind uh, when you are playing as Andy was uh, against Andy. Uses the fighter to block, I love it. Fighters are amazing wallers. Yes, they get uh, quite damage uh, against anti air, but even anti air cannot one shot them. If you have a good amount of firepower, you will be able. But yeah, these anti airs won't do anything against this so now this anti air is completely safe i mean you can still use this anti air to kill but this anti air have to kill this bomber i'm still uh, loving how uh, riso is able to hold uh, against nimer um, he's behind on on value and uh, i mean just slightly behind because if at the end of your turn you are equal on value it means you are slightly behind and the um, the swing of value each turn is uh, very high on stalingrad so if at the end of your turn with such amount of uh, income you are slightly uh, ahead or even it means you are behind also the the unit count is uh, favored for for Neymar, but let's see, let's see, because Neymar has a lot of uh, things to to shoot at right now. Oh my God! Boop, boop. He he needs to retreat. He cannot sustain this fight of here, of course. But the thing when when you keep um, trading and you are quite ahead on income is that you will be able to replenish your value and expensive units and the enemy won't be able to do it as fast as you so that's one advantage that uh, Neymar has going for him compared to, to Raizo but Raizo um, managed to capture one of these cities he uh, very wisely uh, start the captures of these two cities at the same time so if it's only one vehicle guarding them uh, one of them will go through unless you are facing a global damage CEO. And let's see, gets vision of the recon, start the capture, repair anti air. This anti air at 5 HP, if it attacks from planes, it will be able uh, still to do uh, a lot of damage uh, against copters. So never underestimate anti air, guys, never do it. Wall the capture with weaken air units, so unless you have. Uh, a fighter or a reasonable HP uh, anti-air like this one, you won't be able to to break this. Bombers and fighters, even on low HP, are amazing units because uh, they can only be targeted by a few amount of of units. And and Raizo, um, 
yeah, Rice is trying to to slow down the game, but not quite much. He has to do a, a pressure with this capture here, but he cannot go much more aggressive. Because Nightmare is grouping up again. And as you can see, uh, the, the value uh, uh, from the boss players is going... Um, the, the gap is getting wider and wider. At the end of uh, Rise of Dawn, uh, probably he will be behind. So imagine if even if being even it's bad, being behind will be... It's a very bad sign, guys. He will get some engagements, but they they won't be enough to to put him on on equal value so he he just resigned and so some of you might think this is not um, maybe not completely lost but I, I, I think uh, right now uh, the, the map he, he, if he wants to interrupt this, he has to sack another tank. And, and even though he's not behind on unit count, uh, sacking your tanks uh, is not something you want to give away. And, and he, he's, he has to face probably many, many Neo tanks right now. And the Nightmare is prepared for the bomber answer to the Neo tanks. And even if you will a bomber, you won't be able to afford anything else. <clears throat> and and the, and the gap goes getting wider. If you look at how many heavy vehicles uh, Rise has, you can only see a, a, a lonely oh, two medium tanks, one very injured neo tank compared to three neo tanks here with a fighter. And, and I really like uh, the the position that Neymar has right now. It's and uh, it all came down to well, not all, but the the threat of the yes superpower being there and scaring scaring Rice away. Uh, it was very amusing to to see. I really like it, this map. It's it's amazing. Congratulations, uh, both players, because I really like this map, uh, this match, and and yeah, uh, I don't know what you think, guys. Uh, leave your thoughts on the on the comments, um, right? So if you have any deep uh, thoughts about this, uh, feel free to to comment, and I will pin your comment so everyone can can see it. The first one, and yeah. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.